Hey guys, it's Jaden here, and today I am making not a Sims video, but instead I'm going to be making a character rig for um, Live 2D. I decided to try animating and teaching myself Live 2D, and said I could do it like with making a bit of a VTube thing, inspired by Lavender Town, if you've seen her videos. But here I am just doing a sketching out ideas and stuff, well, more like one idea, I guess. But I was having a bit of trouble with the hair and work on clothes and stuff. I'm not usually good at drawing hands, so I went ahead and covered them up because they usually look chunky if I don't. So I decided to go with like a bit of a rabbit boy or something because I love bunnies. They're so cute. And yeah. Just I have a kind of a bit of a connection with them in an autistic way. But I decided to start drawing. Well, not really. Yeah, I decided I was having trouble deciding if I want to put everything on one layer in the end or like that. The sketch. But once I finally decided, decided to start line art. Had a bit of trouble with the facial shape, but finally got it. And just went ahead and flipped it in there a little. Uh. And so, to make a character rig, you kind of have to separate everything into one big model. Now, usually we'll here. We'll, now, usually on this part, I would just go ahead and draw like the bottom half or draw the hair first. But due to the way character rigs need to work, I couldn't do that this time. And I decided to start saving in a method that I don't use much anymore, but decided it would still look great for a character rig that they add a bit of life I guess like they have some actual shading dating and not just a flat character with very basic dating. and then I started working on his hair specifically yeah specifically the front part of his hair but I decided to go with all black and decided to add some white light grayish lining to the to the front hair so it would look a bit more so it would look better. Then I started to add shading for the hair specifically and what I realized was a mistake which I will explain later on. But after that I started to add a little pink highlight because you know. <laughs> so after that I went on to the rest of his hair. After that was done, I decided to start working on the bunny ears. Here I am doing the skate shapes, and decided not to outline the inside of the ears. So I did white ears, even though know, he's technically supposed to be a black rabbit, but I like the character of my bunny Sona having white ears. It's just adorable. So I duplicated that so it would, so I wouldn't have to redraw that, and did the neck in a peg sort of way, you know, like. So that way if I had to move the head up or down, I wouldn't have to work around missing parts or something. Because I had a trouble last time I tried to make a character. <laughs> uh, but I decided, to slip, I decided to separate the sleeves into three parts by themselves. So that I could go ahead and animate it a bit. In a way I want to like, in a way the leaves look like they're flowing or something. So it's like I can make those the um part like face one direction and stuff. Yeah. We'll see when we get to the rigging, but the rigging is actually gonna be another episode. This episode is just making the model. So I decided to go with a bit of a light yellow um sweater kind of look for the character. I do usually draw this kind of character with this OC, I guess, I don't know what to call them. I don't know if they're an official OC, their appearance is always changing, but it is heavily based on how I want to look. So, I do usually go with black because I kind of like black, part of the black hair. But, said the character, the black hair was enough, so I decided to go with this. Yeah. And so, yeah. So I went on to coloring the rest of the 
main body part hiding. I hid some pieces to make sure I could properly color everything in, and went on to saving the went on to saving the main part of that. I was making sure all my layers were in order, making sure. Yeah, it's a lot of work to try and make a character model for a rig. <laughs> yeah. So after that, I went on to fix the head because I realized if I move the hair, then that saving that awful saving thing might so. And I didn't want to have that. So I went on with the rest. And also, and also after doing the neck, realized that this character isn't supposed to have visible eyes. Decided to have a little bit of saving. Had a little bit of trouble with that though, dude. Because I set the opacity to my breast to 61. When it should have been a lot lower, like less than 10. It was more than 6 times what it needed to be. So I went on to, to do that part. Which I accidentally did on the same layer first, but quickly realized it and fixed that mistake. And once I finished dating that, that sleeve, I went ahead and copied it over so that I, so that I didn't need to redraw everything. Nobody likes redrawing something. Hello. It's also part of the reason I don't really like, uh, drawing eyes. <laughs> it can be a little hard and sometimes I have to copy. Things, but I can't never get them symmetrical sometimes. So I did. I went to the mouth and tried to do the red part that would be like the inside of the mouth, but yeah, because I would need to animate that too. And I went on to draw teeth. I decided to go with buck teeth because rabbit seam, <laughs> and I just thought it looked super cute. Then after exporting and stuff, I realized that. I forgot the vertical, so you'll see me adding those in a minute, but you'll see me here turning all, almost all my folders into one layer. I was doing this because the way I do it is I would have two separate files, one for the full version, one for the rig version, but, why not that I can understand stuff, but here's the finished version.